If you have an existing geometry inside the Accent software, it's incredibly easy and cost effective to do a CFD simulation of that geometry. I'm going to demonstrate that by opening up a file. So here is a, a contour view of a compressor consisting of an impeller, vane diffuser, and balloon. We can rotate this to view the various geometrical features of the design. We can do a quick animation of the impeller and to proceed with a CFT calculation we can just use the default grid setup provided by Accent and generate a CFT grid immediately. And there's the grid. You can see that we have generated a nice grid to conform to the leading edge of the impeller blade and a C type topology at the sheared trailing edge of the impeller. Here is a view of the grid in the vein diffuser section. Finally we can observe the grid near the exit of the volute. To set up a CFT calculation, we need to specify the boundary conditions. This is generally a very easy process. To start the calculation, we just have to go to the Start CFT menu and specify the number of iterations we desire. At this point, a separate window will open to provide information on the progress of the CFT calculation. This window contains reports of residuals and various solver settings, which are typical of any sophisticated CFT software. In this case, we are iterating on two levels of course grid. The 500 pre-steps have completed. Now we're ready to move to the next stage of the CFD calculation. The CFD calculations have concluded. and You can see from the residual history plot in the upper right-hand corner that the mass error and calculated mass flow rate have leveled off. The same with the efficiency and uh, total pressure ratio as well as the least pressure in the domain. The RMS error has dropped about two and a half orders of magnitude. We have many options to view the results. The three-dimensional flow field can be viewed either as contours. We can select slices. We can examine details of the flow. Here is the impeller trailing edge vector plot detail in a reference frame fixed on the impeller. We can observe the span-wise variation of flow in the vicinity of the vein in the diffuser. Here we're moving from the hub towards the shroud. To gain specific numerical details of the CFD calculation, we can look at the CFD runs table. Here we can view various values of flow variables selected at specific positions throughout the domain. We can also provide detailed information using the CFD line plot feature. Here is a streamwise plot of static pressure as a function of meridional distance. If desired, the data can be viewed in a tabular format, and from here it can be easily copied and pasted into an Excel spreadsheet for further analysis.